Uh, Ethan Walsh on the way here. Brilliant performance from young Ethan. Junior player, so like Mari, providing a, a young challenge to the top top players. Great against Luke Saville. So I don't think this is going to be an easy match. That's a beautiful dog. Boys and girls have been amazing here as well. They play it so we can keep the play more continuous. No delays as they... But again, that needs to be well... Completely gone the wrong way. So, both players happy to open up. Out. Now Liam happy to stand on the backhand mainly. Forehand from the cross and his recovery is so fast. But the other factor that I think comes in number two play in a contest when you are not expected to win, but you know at the back of your mind you're in there with a good chance of being at the top for a, for a significant period of time, coped with the press. Yeah. And Paul's so accomplished. I mean, Liam's got between mix Other than Desmond Douglas, he's the highest ever title winner at the national championships. Oh! Alan Cook, Dennis Neal and Paul with Desmond Douglas way out there with 11 victories. So Paul will be looking, he'll be looking to join that exclusive That's club. Right. He'll so need, if, he want, if he wants that, uh, that kind of lifetime achievement Joy. award, Liam really needs So there we go. Three. Not necessarily played all the big shots, but he's played very tight without making mistakes. And that's given him game point. Oh, what a backhand from Paul. He nearly got out of trouble there. Jarvis seeded four for the championship, meeting his seeding position. Couldn't quite beat Paul. And first game, Paul Drinkle. And he's certainly totally focused here, as you would as you would expect. It's the national championship. It's the men's singles final. Yes. And that'll give Liam a mountain to climb to overtake that record. But that table. At before before the semi-final that um, fourteen, um, and he's capable of amazing table tennis. But I do think at thirty years of age he's playing as well. And of course that's the benefit of having good players, world-class players around you. They're pushing you all the time. Just Great play. rally, beautiful from both players. Lovely short return from Paul. Uh, the forehand topspin from going across the diagonal and just slow it down and go down the line when they're leaning one. With great touch and power. Oh! Nice short serve from Paul, but Liam's in again. Senior National England Championships. First to 11 wins a game. First to win four. It's two big serves coming up for Paul Drinkle. Yeah. Two on his serve would be nice. And that was a lovely sitted. Yep. Serve is 9 5 now. Oh, it's a great response from Liam. Good backhand down the line from Liam. And then forehand down the line. And that's what he tends to do when he gets the point of view. He needs two. Oh, did that go under the net? I'm not sure. I think it. Was no, if it had come back, then uh, if it had come back, then Paul would have been left laying on the floor. But uh, Paul took the points. Oh, three game points, and he yeah. wins it at the first opportunity. But um, very exciting stuff. At least, at least we're not under the pressure. That cool. 30 years old, playing as well as ever. Six. Of course, when they play team event, Don, they're uh, they're great friends. They train really, really well together. And Marla Lumper, when they won a bronze medal, some amazing wins, beating Germany, Sweden, and very close against Japan in the semi-final. Another they bronze. Got, they got a fifth place in the World Team Cup in in Tokyo. So, you know, few few could argue that we're not one of the to watch those games. That Sam Walker played a very strong role as well. Well, yeah, the, <laughs> they have done it on their own against Japan in the semi-final that gave us a lifeline, and we almost took that lifeline. Oh. Sam took the first game actually against Liam, 11-4. Just goes to show the class that. Uh, that we have and that he has before, but not today. And Sam Walker's still looking for his first national men's title. Meantime, these guys have been dominating and you can see we're enjoying watching the men's final. The last of our matches today, this one. Still Pitchford with a one-point lead. Short serve, short return again. 
That time the long push worked for Liam. Played the right shot and he played it pretty well. Oh, Liam just don't. Good flick. Seven all. Geek's third game. Get over. Seven. Short play. Liam's first in, but not with a big one. But follow. Monster forehand topspin. Great play. Nine. Paul Dick. Big point for Pitchford. He needs this one. Oh. Yeah, his last serve Eight. before Paul. Paul's in first, Got not it. with a big one, Nine. but enough. With a top spin if he can. Yep, short to four oh. end, oh. four end, oh. end across. But the return was excellent return was lovely. Pitchford. Yep. Good touch, kept it tight. That will tell that story. But a lot of surf short at Liam's forehand. He is, and if the ball just pops up a fraction, yep. of course, players can get in. I do agree if you can have spin. Well, I, I agree. And uh, all they need is an extra ball height, don't they? Of uh, direction and speed if they're playing someone who's genuinely world class. What serve to do? A mixture of defence and attack in the thinking about the serve. As you and me, that's not popped up, that's low. But if you if you pull drink, all that one popped up. Let's go down the line as well as on the so diagonal into the It's a body. hallmark of the top 50 players in the world, isn't it? They can go just as effect pressure on. Again, short to Liam's forehand. Again, Liam goes short touch. Return to... Oh, and that as well. Paul apologised there. I'm not sure why. Maybe he just didn't quite get the contact. He got a, a dodgy contact. A bit contact of a thick contact, contact maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Paul's going to win very few points from that position when he's away from the table. He's backing off again. Yeah. Understands that very clearly. And he's doing everything he can to stay up, get him with that first top spin there. But, but now he sees a wait. Yeah. He... Great tactics from these two men. So, oh, nah. man, which could be crucial. And was that TTR, table tennis replay, that they're using there to judge? And they gave the point to Liam as an end. He needs at least one of these points because Liam will be serving at the end of the game. Short to the forehand, short return, yeah, cross court. Across to Paul's forehand. Yes, pretty much. But Paul's in. The, ser the service return really nice and tight. Went for the long one, missed it. That just gives us a long one to break it up. Yes, it was fairly long. He's got Paul away on the backhand again. Paul struggling. He's keeping struggling. him there into the crossover in the backhand. When will it go to Paul's oh. forehand? Who oh, won't know? Paul's on the floor. So, it was short, certainly a tight serve. And then getting in behind the serving. That reverse action, we see the reverse action again and again. Liam's in behind the serve and Paul. And there's the fast serve and it works. And if it's only one in ten because you want your opponent just wondering when, he, when is it coming. If they know it's not coming. New tricks and with some success. Three. Baseline and he got in with a good top spin. The right tactic from Paul with the serves. Oh. Bye. Trinkle, 11 8, 11 7, and now we're into the second half, and it looks as though it's. Whoa! Oh, backhand! Some beautiful play from Paul. Serve drifted long. Four, six. Heavy backspin service. One and preferably two from his point of view, but that was a good return of serve. Pulls in, and that's a great shot, swinging it wide for Paul. He's doing everything he can now, though, to attack his way out of trouble. And what a great backhand down the line. Again, forehand down the line. Nice flip from Paul. He's in trouble here. Can he retrieve? Not quite. Big two serves coming up. and then drew the mistake in the end. So smart play there from Liam. It's not all about the big shots. 
What a beautiful backhand from the pool. Here we go. Ooh, Ooh. Sengel with his two serves to come. Can he take the two points with a serve? Oh, Ooh, edge ball. Paul and put him in with a game of the championships. And they're just the working to stay free mentally while they could be so tense. That's a beautiful flip from Paul. He didn't expect the return, and Liam takes it as a result. Paul did really do. Two games to nil. Pitchford now leads by three games to two. The difference 11 9 and 12 10. Doesn't cup tighter than that. And the other one I think that is happening is that while well, we're looking at some of the big shots. Marginal differences. Liam certainly played. It was almost as though when he went 2-0 down. To get rid of, the, get rid of any tension. Did the tension actually slow you? One, half a percent difference in performance, which is minimal, absolutely minimal. But at this level, that difference can be crucial. Oh. To go in this final, it's been a wonderful final so far. And I'm sure we're in for a great climax. Paul needs this point because, of course, he's got the pitch for two serves to come after this one. Not the easiest of things to do. 7-3 and serving, certainly a nicer place to be. Great return from Paul. Five. Five. Liam just getting into the zone. Paul looks a little bit... Tired or spent, no. not surprised. Two serves to come from Liam Pitchford. And that's the one, he's got him wide of the backhand again. Keeps him there. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah. Liam Pitchford, six times national champion, wins against Paul Drinkle, six times.